Hi, welcome to Brian's at the Gate. This is our video blog. We need to talk about uh, the legal situation surrounding Mr. Trump. Of course, we've kind of talked about this for a year or more, uh, maybe longer than that on our blog. So it's an overriding concern of his presidency. Whether you agree it should be or not, it's there. Uh, we did have sort of a, a tumult recently, though, with the rating of the offices of the president's lawyer. So Mr. Cohn, I, I have to be honest, I'm not sure how, I mean, he's a lawyer. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't necessarily function like a lawyer you might typically think of. He's not in the courtroom arguing. Mm-hmm. He's not filing a lot of paperwork that I can tell. I think he's a fixer, what I can tell. Yes. He sort of deals with issues that Mr. Trump has, and then he kind of takes mm-hmm. care of the issues related to those. Uh, in the New York real estate world, I'm guessing that's a little unseemly sometimes. <laughs> uh, but his offices were raided uh, by United States attorney in New York, not by Mr. Mueller's investigators directly at least. And a lot of people are raising a serious constitutional issue over this. They're saying that uh, this is a threat to uh, attorney-client pr- privilege, and actually this is further evidence that Mr. Trump is being treated poorly by the FBI. Uh, Mark, I'm curious what you think. Is there, are, is there some ground for that kind of a charge? Well, I, I'm, not, I'm not prepared to rush into judgment too quickly on that. Uh, right? You're in the wrong place. That's I know, all I'm sorry. Rush to judgment, rush to judgment yeah. yeah. But, but you're right, the attorney is, is like a personal trainer, right? He's, he's there to fix things for make things better for Donald Trump. Right. He's not a courtroom attorney. Right. But that still doesn't negate the, the attorney-client privilege completely. Right. Right. And so that's a legal issue that, that's going to have to be addressed. I'm not saying that the, that the attorney, attorney's office can't pierce that veil. But the question is, the problem is, we don't know why he's done that at this point. And when can they pierce the veil? So when, when does that privilege essentially go away, yeah, if legally there's, speaking? If there's, if there's clearly a suspicion of illegal activity... Yeah then they can go after you and, and the veil of, of attorney-client privilege can be, can be pierced. Yeah. You can get the information. But we don't, we don't, we don't know. The public doesn't know any sure. of this yet because the, attorney's, the, the attorney general's office is, or district attorney's office is, is not telling us anything. Of course, they never do yeah. until they have an indictment potentially. And this is a warranted search. It's a right? warranted search, so, so a judge had to approve it. So a judge had to approve it <laughs> so. and it went through a legal process from what I understand, the FBI has a pretty rigorous process for dealing with data that's potentially sensitive when it comes to attorney-client privilege, and so I think there are some safeguards in place. Jeff, Hello. what do you think? Well, I continue to have uh, two overarching problems with respect to uh, the Mueller investigation. Number one is the clear uh, political uh, nature of this to have him be able to assign to, to find any problem they can, and I, I mean this is representative of the, uh, yeah. you know, the, the stormy. Uh, Daniel's yeah, situation right. has nothing to do with Russia, and that and the the political opposition just wants to remove him under any uh, means necessary. Well, that plays into my biggest concern of, over this whole thing uh, of all, which is simply this: that we had a, an election, and th- this man's character was well known. Most people don't like it that his political opposition want to use that to drive him from office. It, I, I fear that if we don't have elections where. Uh, the people's will can, if the election process is a way for them to make their preferences known and it stand, you may have significantly more problems. If Trump is driven out of office, his base supporters uh, will not react to it kindly, and rightfully so. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah, the elec- yeah. if we cannot use an electoral process to, to get our values into the system because we will drive somebody from power, you know, that, that's kind of tr- troubling to me. Long term, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, I I think it's unhealthy, certainly. And we saw this just uh, yesterday uh, or whenever he exploded on TV. He's around talking about what they're going to do to Mr. Putin in Russia. He, he, whatever you think of Mr. Trump and his his, his mentality towards uh, how he handles his task, he would have to be better thinking about Russia and what to do with it without be thinking about the, sure. the Mr. Cohen and the lawyer right. raid. Right. That clearly was a distracting factor, and that can't be good for us as a country. Yeah. Bert, what do you think? I don't know if I have a lot to really add on this uh, from, a, from a technical standpoint. I, on a general level, don't like uh, the police uh, breaking in uh, to, you know, to someone's office or the lawyers doing it or whoever it might be uh, pulling it off. On the other hand, if, if there is uh, actual evidence, yeah. um, uh, then I, I know that may be necessary at, uh, at, at some point in time. And uh, you know, I would not disagree with Jeff if, uh, if, what, if his characterization is, is true. If we simply have a politically motivated right. investigation to eliminate uh, the president, I, you know, I, again, this goes back to something we've talked about uh, in the past. My preference would be to have a president that's a little bit more morally, ethically clean to where people sure. don't think there's something under the, 
but then, a bush and they're trying to dig around and find sure. it. But, but then the problem is, we, we, again, we don't know why this attorney's office has done this. And it could be a very minor violation of something. Okay. Right? Looking for, just looking say. for something. Right. We'll find out. So. Well, and of course today we heard that Paul Ryan resigned, which I think makes it more likely the Democrats take control of the House, which makes it more likely Mr. Trump actually gets impeached. So we could be arguing about this for a long time. Thanks for joining us.